Hey guys, it's Ashley from I'm Not a Tree, and today I'm unboxing one of my favorites, um, the Crafty Meal. I will tell you the truth. Here it is. Here's the box. I'm kind of in a shadow zone here. It's weird. Um, both uh, Oliver and Vivian fell asleep, so I snuck up here to do a quick unboxing with you guys. I'm, I'm like, I need to take advantage of it. So I haven't actually taken the picture of the box or of the my first glimpse inside. I don't know what's in here. I have no idea. This is March. And um, each crafty meal is $24.95 a month. Um, each box is themed, and they're always so much fun. Some new vendors, some old vendors, some fabulous vendors. It's just a phenomenal box. One of my favorites. All right. So this box is themed Peter Cottontail. And I'm going to show you, it shows you your sponsors here. And then here, I smell patchouli. So, and then there's some green paper. I'm sorry the shadow is weird, but I'm in my daughter's room. If you could see the rest of this room, you'd cry. They're definitely, now that I've seen it after this video, they're going to be up here cleaning. All right, so, our first item. I see some Laura Botanicals already. <laughs> One of my absolute favorites. And this I'm not sure is what I smell. It's a bath fizzy. And it has, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell in the video because of the lighting. Like little pieces here. And this is Boho Blist. Bliss. Bliss. Just bliss, not blissed. It's a blend of orange patchouli and vanilla essential oils. Just like, it's amazing. I can smell it as soon as I open the box. Her stuff is always like incredible, like just incredible. Love them. All right. So then our second item is in this cool little paper tape shot. This is from the Crafty Mail. And it's a banner. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. We got that. We did receive for the Valentine's box. There was a heart banner. It was so cute. I hung it from my fireplace. Looked gorgeous. This, I'm guessing, is Easter. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to hang this up. I actually just got out my Easter decorations. I put away all my St. Patrick's. And I got out all my Easter decorations. And I was like, I don't have anything to hang from my fireplace. And now I have something. Isn't this adorable? I love it. They have this like fun feeling, like a whimsical country store. Just very cute. Love it. I just love it. So I'll definitely be using that. They always, their incorporations are always really cute and fun and colorful is the word that I use. All right. So our next item is, this is from... Barrow Crochet. Oh, that's kind of cute, right? Play on words. Um, and it is a sleeve for your drink. I'm not going to take it out yet because I want to take a picture of the packaging and all that stuff. Um, but this is, we've received something like this from actually the Crafty Mail. Um, this is a different sort of a design. Mine actually, from using it so much, I like really, that was on there all from like September until January. And it just like, I would just pull it on and off and pull it on and off and it lost its shape. So it's nice to have received another one. Super cute. I love the colors and I love the pattern. Very cool. Happy to have gotten that. I like it. I do like this a lot. The color, it's perfect for this season. I really like the springy kind of feeling. It's funny because we're actually expecting snow here today. So it's like the first day of spring and it's gonna snow. Um, all right. So our next item is wrapped cute. Oh, cute. Like, oh my gosh. I kind of don't want to open it, but I have to. Because that's the whole point of this is opening everything up. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. It looks very fun and parcel-y. Old-timey. Okay. Okay, so there's, first of all, there's a subscriber only coupon on the back of this little card, but this item is this little bunny. 
Oh my gosh, a stitched bunny. I don't know exactly. Let's find out what we can do with this. Is this from Chameleon Girls? And Etsy, obviously, as I always do, I'll link down below to my full blog review, and I'll also link to the craft email. And in my full blog review, I'll link to all the vendors in the box, so you can go and check them out, because it's really important, like, you know, that we support these guys. They do such beautiful, wonderful work. Um, so this is chameleongirls.etsy.com, and I'm guessing this is their little, look at their little card. It looks like the guy from Tangled. I forget his name now. Um, so this is a puppet. Ah, look, guys. Oh, so cute. Oh. Isn't it cute? Oh, I'm going to have to hide this and show it to my kids on Easter. Slip it in someone's basket. Vivian. <laughs> That's so cute. Love that. Okay, so our next item is from Mercantile 519. Love that name. And there's the card. And it's a little ring with a bow on it. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. Is that not adorable? Love the stitch work. That's cool. It's very different. You could like the um it's like zigzag in comparison to the oh I like those colors together. The comparison is that this is like a zigzag. It's very cool, different. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Okay, so our next, this box is full of stuff, huh? All right. I'm going to keep my stuff together so don't forget what came from where. All right, I know what this is already. And they got a new business card. Uh, Studio SL2, one of my faves. Um, this is a little star. Now, I don't know if this is a gift tag. They do a lot of wooden, um, what's that called when you burn something? I don't, branding. In the wood, etching, something like that. They do really, really cool stuff with that. This is a wooden tag, so you can use this however you'd like. I'm actually probably going to... Oh, well, look, too, I didn't see this. It says Wish. Isn't that so cute? I love it. It's so cool. Definitely got to figure out something to do with this. Don't know yet. All right. Next item. Ooh, studs. All right, so this is Bayou View. And I've never heard, they're a new vendor, as well as uh, Chameleon Girls and Mercantile 519. Those are all new vendors in the box. It's exciting. Um, so these are, these are hand-dyed Easter egg studs. Okay, so it's just a little stud earring. I do think that these are adorable. And they're eggs. I don't know that what they're made from yet. I'll have to look and get back to you. Get back to you. Get back to you. Um, and let you guys know in the full blog review, I'm trying to figure, they're not wooden. I think they're just um, maybe a, a sort of, uh, I guess, not clay. I want to say clay. Don't know. Not sure. But they're really cute. So I don't know if they were, there were a bunch of colors available. I wanna, I'm curious now. I'm going to look at some other people's boxes go online. Check it out. Definitely cute. And they have this little card in here with an alligator. So I'm guessing they're in Louisiana. I guess I'm thinking, or not Florida? No, because Florida's like it's not it's not the Bayou. No. <laughs> okay, so our next item, ooh, Kyper Creations. Um, Kyper Creations used to bring uh, jewelry, put jewelry into the crafting mailbox. Now they do tea, which is super exciting. We love tea. So this is called Tickle Me Pink Punch. It's raspberry. Leaf. Hibiscus, orange peel, lemon peel, lemongrass, my, one of my favorites. Rose hips, chamomile, and spearmint. Super excited to try it. I'm going to smell it. I'll actually probably take my pictures and then boil some tea and uh, boil some water. And oh, it smells really good. The lemon and the mint is really like what you, that most aromatic of them. Very excited to try this. It'll probably have a, a good bit of color too, as well, because it's got the. Hibiscus in it. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, Miles of Smile Soups. Oh. Ooh. I'm not going to open this here because it's wrapped. So Miles of Smile Soaps put in an Easter egg bath bomb. Now I've seen these places. So you're going to, I'm guessing I'm going to open this up and it's going to be in the shape of an egg. I don't know. 
if it has a scent. I'm going to have to look here. It doesn't say. I'll have to let you guys know. That's exciting, though. Yay! Okay, so we're down to our last few items. Our first is from... Girls Just Want to Have Fun Crochet, and it's a little um, planner clip with a bunny on it and he's got a little little sapphire oh going into the wrong thing sapphire eye which is adorable oh my gosh i think this is really cute this is a new company they've never been in before i definitely want to check out all these new companies with you right there their little stores are like love that that's one of my favorites um but definitely a cute planner clip um for this month i feel like st patrick's because they're so close St. Patrick's Day and Easter, like, we don't really get to experience Easter. It's like Easter got ripped off this year. Because I just took down my St. Patrick's stuff today. I know I'm, like, three days late. Um, and now I put my Easter stuff over and I only like, oh, get to have it for a week. That's it. But anyway, I'll stop complaining. So here are some stickers. Now, I'm thinking these are Sally Daisy ink. Yes. Planner stickers, because I did see that they're in here. They're the first person on my list, but I don't see anything else with these guys. They do really adorable planner stickers. Love these. I got to put these all over my planners. Planners. I got like three. It's terrible. It's an addiction. All right. And our final item in the bo this box is Heart of Joy Creations, who is has been in the box before. And this is an adorable um, little planner clip. I love that. I love that design. It's so much fun. Perfect for Easter. It almost looks like bunny ears. Just love it. It's a great box. This is so much fun, guys. Um, I'm really happy with everything that's included. I love the inclusion of a couple of the old vendors and then a, and a few new guys. It's just it's just like a well-rounded, great box. There's so much that you pull out and you feel so happy opening it up. Um, please do check out my full blog review and check out the craft email. Give them a, a look and give them your money. It's so important. Love it. It's my favorite box. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.